What's up? What's going on, my loves? Jasmine Atten here, Mystic at the Crossroads. And today's video, we are going to be discussing this new moon, this Mercury retrograde. I have definitely felt the effects of this Mercury retrograde full force, um, as I know a lot of you have. I've been seeing a lot of posts can't be further from the truth. Hey, Kair. What's up, what's up, what's up? Peace, everybody, what to do? Yes, yes. So as I was telling everyone, there's all these posts floating around social media that Mercury retrograde is ending or that it's in, it's near. And we both know that that's definitely the furthest thing from the truth. I actually reached out to Kair this morning to ask him, when does it go direct? What the hell is going on? These are all these things that are floating around me. And I go to the one and only person that I know, love, trust, the expert in letting us understand and break down how these planetary energies influence us and our magic. Coach Kair, can you please shed a little light on this? We had a little a brief discussion, but everybody I know is still being beat across the head by this energy. So if it's ending, why is everyone still being so affected by it? because <laughs> it ain't over yet <laughs> it ain't over yet that's that's that that's the that's the simplest piece right there it's clearly as we can see with uh technology freezing up here it's okay i got it so i'm back can you hear me now yeah okay so let's look at retrograde like a car I'm just going to explain this to people. First off, I'm Coach Kyer, Team Taurus, Atlanta, Georgia. Y'all know how I am. Please press 2 if you, so you can share this video with somebody else. And what's your team zodiac and what city and state you represent? So I know Jasmine is Team Pisces over there looking all, you know, emasculate and everything. I mean, you know, she's just looking all immaculate and stuff, Pisces and doing it down. Um, so, yeah, let's look at retrogrades like a car, all right? So you're sitting on your porch. I want you to sit on your porch and you got to the left, there's like the end of the block and to the right, you, that's the end of your block. You're in California. You know about like sitting on a block or you went from New York, somebody can be like sitting on a stoop. You know what I mean? And so um, you're sitting on the block and you know all the cars that come by. And you know, most times when a car drives by, they got to get to the end of the um end of the driveway and then they got to stop at the stop sign signal left or right and then turn right you have to stop the car it's 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 just a rule jasmine you don't just go to the end of the road and don't stop right right so but on a retrograde you look up at the left and you see the car coming down and this car is named mercury the car just drives by you and the car is slowing down because it sees the stop sign and it has to stop. So it stops at the stop sign and it puts the car in reverse. Mm -hmm. Now, Jasmine, how long you been driving a car? Since I was 16, so long time. <laughs> and Jasmine, what do you normally do when you want to put the car in reverse? I shift the gears. But what is a prerequisite before you can put the car in reverse? You start the ignition. And then after that, then what? You look in your rearview mirror, put your car in reverse, and you back up. Is the car moving or is the car sitting at a complete standstill? It's in park. Now, what about if you're driving? You've lived in Florida, you've been around the country, and you've driven some really nice cars. Have you ever been driving and just decided, I'm going to go in reverse and just throw the car in reverse while you're driving somewhere? No. Not one time? No. Well, why not? Because that would be idiotic. <laughs> because cars don't work like that, do they? That's not the rules, right? Right. The car has to come to a complete, let's say you want to back the car in the driveway. So do you put, I mean, like, if you want to back the car in the driveway, can't you just slow down just a little bit, but don't stop all the way and just throw it in reverse and back up in there? No. What, what, Jasmine, I'm going, why not? Because you will mess up your car if you do that or potentially crash and have an accident. 
Right. So these people who keep saying that Mercury retrograde is over, mm -hmm. don't no, they don't drive. So we got a whole planet here, not just a car. We got a whole planet mm -hmm. that's been going one direction. And then all of a sudden it started going backwards. So when it, when that car came down to the end of the street, it had to come to a full stop, which was called Mercury Station. Can everybody type that? There's a Mercury Station. Mm -hmm. Then it puts the car in reverse, puts the planet in a reverse, and it starts to go backwards. The first two letters are reverse and retrograde are the same. And now the car is backing up. Now, you know, in California, if a car drives forward, puts it on, puts the brakes on, and then reverses back by your house. <laughs> you better duck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you better duck high, pull the shades down, something, because it ain't good. Because it's about to go down. Right. Yeah. Somebody's, y'all had a lot of movies in the 80s and early 90s with drive-bys. Mm-hmm. And that's what Mercury does. Mercury's driving backwards, and he's wetting up the block. <laughs> and he's going to go all the way back to the first block where he first got on up on the left. Because didn't we say he came on the block up there? Right. Okay, now he went all the way back up there. And today, today, the car is all the way back where it started from. And it's at the top of the block. But the planet can't keep going backwards. The planet has to go direct, right? Right. But Jasmine, if that planet stops and puts it, if that car stops and then goes and drive, are they still on your street? Yes, if they yes, they are. Yeah. Because all they did because all they did was back up on your street, didn't they? Yeah. But they don't but they want to get off your street. So they're so now they put their car in drive, right? Mm hmm And this is the point where everybody says, Oh, Mercury's going direct. It's all good. So Jasmine, if you just saw a brown Monte Carlo back up and wet the block up, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden the brown Monte Carlo stayed on the block and started driving forward. Would you still consider that car a threat? Yes. Might get my ass out the way. You would be like, yo, that brown Monte Carlo is still out there cruising. Yep. The brown Monte Carlo is still out there cruising. And um, y'all can go out there if you want to. That's <laughs> how I am right now. That's how I am right now. I'm like, oh, I see all these posts on social media. Mercury Mercury retrograde is over. I'm getting all these emails from these bum ass astrologers in my chart. I mean in my inbox. It's over. It's over. It's direct. It's direct. It's direct. The Mer the Monte Carlo is still on the block. Mm -hmm. He didn't go down there and like put the car in because we he reversed. He had to stop the car to a full stop, which is what's happening today. It takes a whole Jasmine, you know how long it takes for a car? How long does it take for for a planet to come to a complete stop. I you're just using common sense. You're just using common sense right here. These aren't even, this ain't rocket science, right? Right. So how in the world, if the Monte Carlo got to stop and then put it in drive to come forward, mm -hmm. what do you think the planet got to do? Right. So here we have another error that people have left out. Every time somebody says, this is what I want everybody to do. Oh, retrograde's over today. Just ask them, what about the station? How long does the station take? And what are the shadow periods? Mm -hmm. The shadow period is as long as he's on my block. The first time that Monte Carlo rolled by, he was just cruising. He was looking at you with that look, Jasmine. He was like, uh-uh. You knew something was going on when he rolled by. You was like, something is fishy. Mm -hmm. Something is, that car right there, and then you look, and so now you wait for the car to get off the block and you see him put the reverse lights on. You say, oh, I know this scene right here. I'm going in, you, you, you either gotta go inside or you gotta get your piece. 
So best bet if you just go inside, because this is Mercury. It's a quick spray. Brr, 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 brr. He backing up. So now the car is stationing because it, it's in park. With He didn't go to park. He had to go to a full stop before he could put it in drive, which will be tomorrow. So everybody talking about, oh, Mercury's going direct. Not till tomorrow, which will be um, Thursday at 2.48 a.m. in the morning. So today, now, now let's look at it like a rubber band and a slingshot being pulled back. All of this potential energy is in Mercury pulling back, pulling back. So when he goes forward, he's not going to be at full speed as soon as he starts off. Yeah. You've seen cars drag racing um, mm -hmm. up and down Crenshaw. <laughs> they start out, you know, they may be fa a fast car, but when they get two blocks down the road, they're really going fast. Right. So in order for Mercury to get back to its regular speed and rotation, it's going to take a little while. But he still's got these same intentions as he had when he was going backwards. So now here he comes again back by your house. He's speeding up, but he's not going fast enough because he's still in the shadow period and he still got that thing hanging out the window. He might not have as many bullets. Mm -hmm. So it might not look like the actual retrograde of moving backwards. But now when he's coming forward, he's like, pow, pow, pow. So it's still some action jumping off because we're in the third phase. Tomorrow will be the third phase of Mercury retrograde. If anybody watching this, on a scale of one to 10, please let me know how much you understand this. Zero if you don't understand or you disagree, and please press 10 if you really, really get what I'm saying, because I tried to make this as simple as possible. So a retrograde is very revealing. There's been so many arguments because it's been in cancer. It's been all these emotions around it. it but when it got to that first stop sign on the right, it stopped in Leo. It was coming through cancer, and it got to the stop sign in Leo. Then it started backing up, back through cancer. So he picked up some Leo homeboys. Leo homeboys is pride. Then he backed up through cancer, which is emotions of women. I'm not even going to get you started today because you said you don't want to go there. But So now he's going to pride and feminine emotions riding in the car backwards. You're not supposed to be driving backwards. So you got all this uh, argumentation, energy, and conflict as you are riding backwards. And now it has to go all the way back down and drop off the emotional cancer piece. <gasps> While we have a new moon in Leo. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to. And then what everybody forgot is that we just came off a double eclipse. Right. And as Sister Myra says, energy unfolds. Energy unfolds. It's not about, um, oh, well, the, the eclipse happened that day. We don't have to worry about the rest of it. Them, them two earthquakes that y'all had, the energy is still unfolding from those two earthquakes. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, I remember when Will Smith and Jada were at the red table and they were talking about how they argue, how they used to argue. And they said, once the words come out the mouth, you can't get them back in. Because now it goes over there and sits with somebody and it's like causing these things. I'm dwelling on it. Mm -hmm. So now this energy is being dwelled on all the way for uh, 5, 10, 15 more days. So the retrograde is not over until the car gets back down to the stop sign and turns right or left or goes straight. But he has to get off your block. He has to get off your block. And, and this just so happens to be the cancer block. We're on the cancer block, and Mercury's coming back through cancer, and then he's going to go back forward, and he got to get hit Leo. But until he gets past Leo, I think it's three or four degrees, then we're still in this energy. I look at it like somebody going to the bathroom. Let me give you the really gross one. Somebody's farting. You should be like, yo, go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Farting is the first shadow. Mm -hmm. Then they go to the bathroom and actually sit on the toilet. 
That's the retrograde. Mm -hmm. Then they get up and leave the bathroom. Don't light an incense. Don't cut the <laughs> fan on. You know, one of your cousins, you know. <laughs> and, and then you walk in there behind that. Walk in there behind that. You just be like, oh my God. Ugh. That is, so that's where we're at right now. All the turds have been dropped, but it's still funky. It's still funky. Now, the tr that's the truth about the uh, Mercury retrograde. The new moon is here, and a lot of people think that this is the period. Uh, oh, well, since, excuse me if I offend anybody, the white man, because the black interrupting trying to call at their leisure but they can't so um white man names it the new moon he names everything else crescent waning first quarter fourth quarter but then he calls this the new moon but it's not new the new moon is the third phase when you should be dumping if the listen we're all if the moon is reflecting of the sun we should be reflecting what the moon is doing so if the moon is empty, that's what the new moon is, then we should be emptying out. And what did you say you were doing last night? I was purging, cleaning, and I've been fasting. I'm on my fourth day of, of just water and juice. Mm -hmm. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that's what the moon is doing right now. The moon is like, I'm empty. I don't have anything to give. Don't come over here trying to load me up right now. I'm dumping. You should have loaded me up seven days ago. Seven days before the new moon is when you start to say, these are my intentions of abundance. These are my intentions of losing weight. These are my intentions of getting a new job. These are my intentions of getting up the courage to ask this person on a date. These are my intentions of reading this book this month. But when the new moon comes, after you set your intentions, it's just like planting seeds in the ground. Jasmine, why do they have scarecrows outside, out in the field? To ward off anything that's unwanted, coming in, picking at the food. And what's food to the birds? Seeds. Mm -hmm. So your intentions are the seeds. So the scarecrow is a time for the new moon because something's going to come and try to take your seeds. They're gonna to try to steal your intentions, mm -hmm. but you must ward off. Proper behavior during the new moon is to cry. Oh, I'm emotional, I'm sad, I don't have the energy to do mm -hmm. Everybody trying to call my phone today. I gotta to start doing these things with the airplane mode on. So, and I'm avoiding all these calls. You see how I'm just, Watch out, watch out, watch out. So this is today and tomorrow and the day after is the time to avoid, to clear out. What is the seed I planted? Now the things are gonna come and try to take this seed. They do it every month. Cause every month a person is not successful in accomplishing their goals because something came and scooped it up and you didn't run it away. The new moon is for you to see in the dark. You got to see that old scandalous ass person who's a hater. You got to see that old uh, um, habit that you have in yourself, as we call it, you are spiritually cock blocking yourself. What habit do I have about myself that's coming up right now that won't let me manifest? I've been doing the same thing five months in a row, Jasmine. The candles aren't working. The so-and-so's not. <laughs> Um, did you remove something? Right. Like this is the ultimate time. Like you should be selling so many banishment uh, oils, candles, hot foots, anything. What What else do you have that moves stuff? Ganesha. Yeah. Ganesha's. And you know, and I'll, I'll just interject. Ganesha, everyone should work with and have on, on your altar because the breakthroughs and the road opening and the clearing and the things that I manifested, be, I didn't even have a statue yet. I just put his picture up there. And things things have always been moving, but they came at lightning speed after I put him on my altar. 
what'd you call the other one before you told that story? Road opener? Mm hmm It ain't the time to it ain't time to call it. It's time to like people go into when you're doing a ritual, it's a whole cycle. Like even when the candle goes out, you gotta take the candle off the altar and, and dispose of it. So where why do people think that when they go through and do some type of ritual, that there's not gonna be some physical work on your behalf? Like this is the put on my pull my hair back, put on my bandana or something, go get my <laughs> damn Timberlands and go get my shovel, put my gloves on, put on some old sweatpants. This is not the time to get out here and get fresh because I'm about to go out there and walk in the shit and shovel the shit and move all the shit out of the way from what's been holding me back. Mm -hmm. What you doing, Kair? Shoveling shit. Jasmine, what you doing? I'm hauling the shit. <laughs> right, and then I'm gonna come back. Then I'm gonna come back and shovel and he gonna haul it. But mm -hmm. all we're doing over here is hauling shit. You know what I'm saying? Because we want to keep the things away Remember when a woman gets pregnant, what she start doing? Vomiting. Mm -hmm. And people look at her and be like, girl, you pregnant? Girl, you pregnant? What you doing? I'll be right back. She got something in her stomach, but she's vomiting what is bad for the baby. Mm -hmm. Now, Jasmine, you done delivered 50,000 babies. You <laughs> already know. But the yeah. baby didn't come up. She didn't vomit no sperm and egg up. You know what I'm saying? She vomited all the things up that weren't supposed to be there. Now, two weeks from the day, like clockwork, that belly going to be big. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a full moon. It's going to be time to eat. The buffet going to be served. So th that 14-day gestation period has to be complete. You can't wait to start on day one which is really not even day one from really from the start of a from the start of the lunar cycle to the full moon is actually 21 days so people are trying to move on a 14 day cycle but then they come back and say well so and so happened and i did get this happened and i did get that yeah you only got a fraction of what you could have got mm -hmm. i'm the 100 percent guy i want all of mine i don't want to go to work for 40 hours and get paid for 36 or 32 and then, the, and then your boss come and be like, well, Jasmine, I paid you for 32 hours. Y'all, I done seen Jasmine check be short before. She don't play that, okay? Check was a little short. Jasmine was like, I ain't no good mood. I don't want no damn wine. I'm going to have to go back up here and see somebody about my money. If any of you are like that, please press one. I'm sure some of, every, all of y'all want all of your money. So that's the truth about Mercury retrograde and the new moon and shameless plug that's what we teach in the moon magic 28 that is i give the formula away so you will know what to do it's eight rituals and i'm about to post the video now because there's eight videos that come with the course and i show the um the dumping ritual you know there's a dumping ritual that you do when you get up in the morning that helps you use the energy of nothingness. See, a lot of people don't know that you can use the energy of nothingness. You use the energy of nothing to do nothing. But if the, if the moon is empty, then you should be emptying out. You should be sticking your finger down your throat, getting out the things that you don't need. Not trying to set your intentions. You're late. You got to set your intentions before the birds come. You got to already have the scarecrow out there and be ready to target practice and get these things out of your atmosphere. So... I'm so happy we're keeping this thing short today. I hope somebody, this was helpful for everybody. And your lashes are looking amazing today. I see you just came from the shop. You're just looking all fresh and all that. Crispy. Um, Nubia Sophia says she hit a car today. So wait, 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 Jasmine. They said that Mercury retrograde was over today. Clearly it isn't. But car accidents are pure signs mm -hmm. of retrograde. Right. So what I tell people is wait till tomorrow and wait till Friday and wait till Saturday and watch, don't you see this is what they're going to start posting. They're going to be like, I thought retrograde was over. <laughs> you know? Yep. That's what I want y'all to go back. Wait till Sunday and go back to them same people who was telling you that it's over 
and go back to him and be like, hey, bro, my phone just got cracked. I just got in another argument. Mm -hmm. Another ex of mine just showed back up. Mm -hmm. uh, I just had X, Y, Z happen. I thought you said the retrograde was over. So the 15th of August, the 15th of August, is it going direct? Tomorrow, it'll be going direct. Today is sitting still. So just think about a, a slingshot, like you just holding the slingshot back here. The planet is the rock. The planet is that little rock that you're holding in the slingshot, and it's tight. What happens when you think it's going to, when you let it go? It's like it's got to take off. It's going to keep stirring some things up. So, um, yeah, that's my piece on that right there. I hope that was helpful. That was very helpful. Thank you so, so much for taking your time out and doing this and explaining to everyone to help some of you. I really do hope that this has helped a lot of you. Hope that this has helped a lot of you. So now you can have a better guideline as far as what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing for this new moon and moving forward. Any final thoughts, Kair? Um, yes, I do have something to say. I got to speak, you know, I'm on a protect Jasmine mission. Jasmine got a lot of things going on. Sometimes things slip through the crack. And somebody hit me the other day and was like, I ain't got my Mercury retrograde oil. And since it's going to be over tomorrow, I don't even know why I'm going to need the oil. And I was like, see, you ain't got no business doing magic anyway. Mm. Because you don't even know that Mercury retrograde happens not once, not twice, three times a year. Mm -hmm. So when y'all get y'all's oil, don't use it all up. Mm -hmm. Don't use it all up. If you got something left, save it. You're going to need it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's just like cooking oil. You don't cook. I don't cook with canola oil every day, right. but I don't like throw the oil. Well, I ain't cooking with oil today, Jasmine. So we're just going to throw the oil out. Um, the oil is still fresh, Kyrie, in the bottle. Like, you ain't even used it. I know, but I ain't using it, so it, it ain't no good. Um, we're going to cook tomorrow or maybe the day after tomorrow, you know. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> so, like, some of y'all, man, I think we should do a video. I'm going to let Jasmine do a video called Witchcraft Maturity. Because mm -hmm. some of y'all, but see what happens? The retrograde will reveal your level of maturity because retrograde is supposed to cause delays in your life so you can see some things about yourself right so you can understand some things and like slow some things down for your own good because some of y'all are rushing to your own destruction mm -hmm. and you get in here and do i just want to get this thing done i gotta hurry up hurry up and then you are skips steps you don't appreciate the entity that you're dealing with that you're trying to get good favor from and you know who slide in your ass one of them entities who not in it for your fa good favor <laughs> jasmine you gotta talk to these jokers about when you miss the good entity there's another entity that's not so good waiting to come in and pull that energy from that candle mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so it's, it's, it's all about where you're at, too, in yourself. So when you see something is not going your way, don't start pouting and sending messages and all this other kind of stuff. Ask yourself, why didn't it get to you yet? Hmm. Maybe it's you. Maybe it ain't the mailman. Maybe it's not Jasmine. Maybe it's you. Maybe all of your stuff is delayed because of something you got going on. Because what I always say about any retrograde, by the way, there are five planets, there's six planets in retrograde today. So when Mercury goes direct, there'll still be five other big boys moving backwards. We just talked about one today. But when that's over with, you still got other things that you got to deal with. You know what I'm saying? So let's mature up in our witchery, in our arts, and let's uh, relax a little bit and work on yourself to see how did I even get in this situation that I deserve this. Mm -hmm. I don't have no uh, mercury retrograde oil. Mine ain't got here yet either. And when it get here, I'm going to 
dab down and get right, put some on my candle. I ain't going to try to use it all, though. I'm going to try to stretch it. Because <laughs> I know it's powerful. You know what I mean? And I know another one is coming around Christmas, Thanksgiving. Y'all would be, that's what y'all should be asking is like, when are they coming? Mm -hmm. So you can like be like, I always, these are my last thoughts. People who get frustrated over a Mercury retrograde are like a husband who marries a wife and you're mad because she has her period. <laughs> you know it's coming. And if I can add on to that, something that I swear if I had a penny, if I had a penny every time I said this, I would be a millionaire right now. Preventative, maintenance magic, prophylactic. Y'all know that word, prophylactic? You know you take a birth control pill every day not to get pregnant? There's no reason why your altar should be dead at any point. And maintenance magic is very different from spell casting. And I say this all the time. A lot of people are preparing to cast spells on the new moon, on the full moon. What about your maintenance magic? I double up on my money candles, my road openers, my, my cleansing candles, my blockbusters during a Mercury retrograde. People ask me, is it okay to light a money candle? Get off the other end of my phone. You shouldn't be asking me that. You should have three money candles going. Hell, seven money candles going when the moon, when the when the planets, especially Mercury, is in retrograde. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. If you prevent, you burn your. I didn't talked about how many. It's been six months. I'm telling y'all, light your Mercury retrograde candles before Mercury goes into retrograde. Light your Mercury retrograde candles before Mercury goes into retrograde. Light your money candles. Light your road openers. I've been saying this for four years now. Y'all, if y'all ain't got it by now, I can't help you. Preventative. A lot of people, if you were to keep up on your shit, you wouldn't find yourself in a pile of it. Period. You feel me? Does that make sense? Or am I the crazy one? Just saying. I thought you was going to chill today. I thought you told me you was going to come on here and chill today, but I guess you I guess you had to let a little piece out. You know well, what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying. We, Kair and I, I myself, I'm here to help. I'm here to be of a service. But the information that I'm giving y'all isn't to hurt you. It's to help you. And if you're not going to take my advice, then what am I doing here? Quite honestly, what am I, you know, I got 101 other things that I could be doing. I know Kair does also, but I take my time out to share this information to help you get your stuff together. And I get bombarded with the same questions month after month in my inbox over and over on my timeline, over and over on these live videos. And we've said it 101 times. So like Kair says, with this Mercury energy, this is the opportunity for you to slow down, reevaluate and reassess where you are, where you're going and what you're not doing. Maybe some of you shouldn't even be practicing magic. We'll save that for another video. Some of y'all are dabbling and you shouldn't be. Some of y'all are impatient and you want stuff to happen overnight. This is why you're not getting it. And some of y'all just should not be practicing magic. You ain't ready. If you can't fly on the broom, stay out of the lane with the big witches. Those are my final thoughts for y'all. I just, <laughs> yes, absolutely. From the mystic at the crossroads herself. That just, that just made, somebody was asking me the other day, like, um, I'm trying to get this particular spell work done to find out why this woman is doing something to keep my baby daddy away from me and his child. And I was like, if the spell don't work, it's because you don't deserve it to work. A lot of y'all just need just a little bit of maintenance work and a little bit of spell work for something to go your way because you deserved it anyway. You just needed to be introduced to magic. You just needed this a little push, but when some of y'all come out there uh, and load up the wagon and it still don't work and you got a Jasmine working with you and you it's the right time astrologically, that means it ain't us, it's you, boo. As Jasmine would say, it's you, boo. Like you don't deserve it. Like that level of magic that you own, you ain't there yet. That's another magic level. That's a good one right there. Like right. it's places that it's places that I ain't playing around at yet. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And I sit there and I bow out and be like, I ain't there. Mm -hmm. I ain't there. Let me. And 
the way I stay out of trouble is let me not even disrespect or hit that hornet's nest right there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I had to come from this level, this level, this level, this level, this level, this fall back a little, this level. I didn't get like straight to the top and this, I was right here. It right. was work pushing that, pushing that thing uphill. And so, man, y'all got to show some witchery maturity, if that's even a word. <laughs> and like when something ain't working, that's a retrograde too, because now it's revealed to you, man, I don't deserve this. And you should be, Jasmine, you'll be surprised at the people who think they deserve what they do not deserve. Well, and and like, work, that also has to go with intentions. What are your, see, you can't hide from the universe. You can't hide from the spirit guides. You can't hide from your angels. You know, Kaya, we talk to people all day, every day. If your intentions ain't right, I don't care how many candles you burn. You could hire me. You could hire 50 other practitioners. If it ain't for you, if your intentions ain't right, it ain't going to work. And guess what? You can't get revenge on karma. Candle magic don't work on karma, honey. Witchcraft don't work on karma. So a lot of people whining and worried and they want this and they want that, but they fail to realize a lot of the stuff you're going through is your karma. And karma does not always show up the same way that it was sent out. Um, and that's a great example with the whole, you know, baby daddy situation and all that which that, that's a whole nother story because some people want to reconcile with people that I'm like, but why? They did all this to you, but why? Why do why you want them back? For what? Whole nother video. I could go on for hours and hours and hours about that subject. That's a whole nother line <laughs> Between your karma and your intentions, you can, you know, and this is, this is another reason why practitioners suggest getting a reading done prior to doing complex spell work. The reading, yes, is to give you some clarity, but it's for me to determine whether or not you're want to use my magical energy eth in an ethical way. Because if you come to me on some willy nilly, on some bullshit, I'm not, and y'all know, I don't do curses. I've really slowed down on breakup spells, banishing stuff like that. If I feel a person's intentions aren't right, I'm not doing it. And I've had a lot of people mad that I declined to do their spell work, but that's just what it is because it's a waste of energy. And also you may be putting something out there that's going to affect you negatively in the long run. So you really need to get clear on if your intentions are ethical, if they're for the right reason, if it's truly going to benefit you the right way. And if it isn't, then there's some soul searching that needs to be done. Can't nobody help you. And if anyone is willing to help you, knowing that what you're asking for ain't for the right reasons, well, I wouldn't want to work with them anyway. That's just my opinion. These is facts. Happy Mercury retrograde, everyone, <laughs> to August the 15th. Uh, I don't care what they say because time is going to tell. Wait till Saturday and, t and go back and ask them. Be like, I thought it was over. Why is all this stuff still happening? You Wise up and be smart yourself. Ask them about the shadow period. We are on the, today's the station on a new moon. Be honest. It's okay to be emotional. It's okay to be depressed. This is what is called par for the course. You can't be happy and have success all the time. You know what I'm saying? My money's slowing down. My other, I even me, I had a little anxiety about something yesterday that I'm working on that had me kind of nervous in my stomach. And I was like, oh, it's just that time. It wasn't nothing wrong with me. It's just where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I didn't go lose my shirt or why or go tell Ganesha he ain't doing his job. <laughs> Ganesha, like, look, bro, look here. Like, I'm in this, I'm out here with you. I got the same, I got a little more ability, but I can read the weather. So I ain't doing nothing right now. I'm waiting. I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna wait for the time is right. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we have moonmagic28.com so you can know when the time is right. When to fall back and then when to press the gas, when to put a little more action, when to go over there and do, you know, X, Y, Z. So that's, that's, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for having me over here on your you. channel. Mwah. If y'all following us on YouTube, make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button. And make sure you put this in one of these groups over there. Share this to one of them other astrology groups <laughs> over there that, that's talking all that talk and tell them I said it. You know what I mean? And I ain't got no problem with the smoke. I always get smoked, too, during the Mercury retrograde. But this last one, though, boy, don't bother people during an eclipse. That's what I'm telling you. Because you just, you, just, you just never know. Like, I did such a fallback move, and it all got handled. 
It all got handled. So falling back is sometimes the best thing that y'all can do versus thinking that you can just reply all this other type of stuff. And if you send me a friend request, make sure you send me a message because I don't just be accepting anybody. All right. I love you, baby. Absolutely. I love Talk you, to you soon. Thank you so much. All right, you guys. Right. I will be uploading this to my YouTube channel, Miss I'm doing three question, 15 minute readings for $25. You can go to oneritualaway.com. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, I will be starting readings around 6 p.m. Pacific time. I love you guys. I'm here for you. Happy manifesting. And I'll talk to y'all later.